hey guys so we are back with a declutter video this video is going to be my lipsticks and lip glosses these are all my dose of colors so i'm just showing you guys what i have on like a, a separate desk aside of my main desk this is pretty much um all of the dose of colors that i've ever collected and then these are beauty creations i just like that i thought that they would be pretty nice but honestly, they ended up becoming, I didn't care too much for the formula. So they ended up becoming just displayed. I like the colors and the, like the nudes and the reds. So I really don't use these. I don't really have to declutter them unless I just don't like the look anymore of them sitting up here on this desk. But yeah, that's the only two aside from what I'm about to show y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and try to declutter some of my lip glosses and lipsticks and bring it down because I know I'm not using none of these and some of them are probably old. So let's head over to the desk. So this is what I currently have on my desk. I have this, which was sitting next to the two displays that I just previously showed you guys. And then some Pond's, oh, Pond's cold cream, some wipes. And then I have a couple straggly lips, lipsticks right here. Um, This is empty. I just have it for like, I see all my makeup swatches and stuff that I've been doing. And then I do have some Huda Beauty sitting up here as well. So this is just up here as far as lips go, but this is what we want to tackle, okay? So I'm going to set the camera up and we're gonna go through this drawer and see what's old, what's not, and what I'm just not gonna use. And then I will tackle these, because. I know these are old. Um, these are not old, but these right here, these NYX ones, I don't even know if they make these anymore, these dabs. Oh, that's not it. This one right here, yeah, these, these and the Wet and Wild ones, when they were first coming out, they were the jam. They was the bomb. I'll show y'all, but I know they're old. I just don't want to get rid of those because I like the nudes. So let's get to it. I'm going to start with this point right here. I am probably not going to get rid of none of these because in all honesty, they're newer to my collection and they're not, they haven't went bad and I still wanna do like some fun looks with them. Um, I don't really care for these glitter shades, but like I said, I can always make use of them. I'm just gonna use this one for swatches. Look how pretty that is. Can't get rid of that. That is the shade Pearl. And then this one is super pretty too. These would be pretty like toppers. And that one was crystal, crystal tin. So I'll just show you guys what I have and we'll decode as we go. These have a little shimmer to them. And I remember this one right here was supposed to be Topaz. It was kind of like the Fenty. I have it, so I'll just show y'all really fast. This one was supposed to be like um, equivalent to the Gloss Bomb, like a dupe in a sense. So that's that. And then I'm going to show y'all the Rihanna one right next to it. Where is the glass one? So the Rihanna one, which is the Fenty Glow, that was kind of like supposed to be a dupe for this Rihanna one. And if you ask me, let me get some more. They look pretty much the same. The Rihanna one looks a little bit more faint. And... This is probably a little bit, tad bit more in color, more opaque, but they look the same to me. So then we have Moon. This is a pretty one. It's a little bit lighter than Topaz, more pinky. And then we have this Sun, which is a little nude, but a nudie, but it has like a gloss to it, a little sparkle. But for the most part, it's it's cute. I'm not getting rid of none of these. And then a couple of them I have like the same colors of. Like these are don't have any shimmer in it, which I really like because you have a more nude one and then you have a more pinkier version. And this is the um, 007 Amber and this is 004 Silk. So I like that for how it has some pigment to it. And then I might as well show y'all the pink one. <laughs> I like how it has some pigment to it. So that's like more pinky and that's more nude. 
um, for when you want some color on your lips and you're not wearing like a lipstick. So that's really pretty. Then I have Stone and Reef. Same type of ordeal, a, a little bit more nude and a little bit more pink. I'll just swatch them really quick for y'all. And these are, this is a little bit lighter. So these give you a little bit more color to the lip. So I kind of like that. And this one was, I believe, stone. Yep, this is stone. So this one is stone. These are super pretty. Um, and then I think I have like a couple. So Topaz, I think I have that one already in Sun. I showed you guys Topaz and Sun. But my favorite is the 002 Ice. So you guys can see I have used this. But this one is literally like my favorite one. And it's just like a milky, like you can't really, it's a clear gloss, but it's milky. And it has like really, really small iridescence in there that you really can't see. But this looks so amazing over um, just your lips with some liner or if you add it on top of a lipstick. So I keep the ones I really like in the front. So that's it for this section right here. These are all my glosses. These are glosses too, but I put these in here because this section is kind of like a topper section. Apricot Dream, Natural, and, and Love. You can put them on, there, on your lips by itself, but I would prefer to just like put them over something because they have a little shimmer and a little bit of color, but they could definitely be worn alone as well. Um, they were really, really light on the lips. I had these for a while, but they do not smell, so I will keep these toppers. Um, these were definitely considered like lip toppers, and it even says it on the packaging. Skinny Dip Tan Lines and Frostbite. I wouldn't really wear these um, by themselves. I mean, it depends if I'm going for like a certain look because look at this, this is like glitter like literally glitter lips not my thing but if i wanted like a little shine or something i would definitely reach for these and even though i had them for a while they do not smell bad so i will still keep these look we ain't making no progress none i know one of y'all gotta be bad one of y'all gotta be bad okay so let's start with these um this is the lip plumping gloss by elf and pink sugar now this one another one i looked at as like a topper and it's really really iridescent there's a lot of shimmer in there it's like a gloss with a lot of pink iridescent in there not really my thing but for a topper yet and it doesn't smell bad so i gotta keep it this one is the elf lip plumping gloss and champagne glam um this is another one that has glitter in it but this one is a little bit more gold, whereas that one's pink, so yeah. And it doesn't smell bad. So even though I had it for a minute, it still smells good. This one is really old. Um, this is the Modern Metals. This was like a collection it came out with. And this is another beautiful a little bit more champagne to, well no this is a little bit more gold than that one the other one is like a champagne gold which you can tell it has a little bit of pink in there and then whereas this one is like strictly gold it don't smell bad still smell beautiful then i have these dose of colors um the the most and over the top once again, I look at these as more so like toppers. This is similar to the e.l.f. one. They look like literally identical. So if I was to get rid of that e.l.f. one, then definitely these are, these two are like dupes for each other, seriously. Then we have the moist, the most, the moist. <laughs> um, this one looks, I'm gonna put it over here because this one, is giving me this vibes right here, these vibes. 
So the e.l.f. one, even though in the packaging this one looks a lot more silver, it's the same same vibe. That is the lip plumping, the e.l.f. lip plumping gloss in pink sugar, which is right here. And this is the Dose of Colors one the most. So these look super alike. And then I know this is super old. This is Crystal Gloss um, by Ruby Kisses. I remember I used to go to the beauty supply store and these would be in there. And this is more like just, it, ha it looks like it has like green iridescence and a slight pink, but it's the same concept. I love their glosses. I think they still do sell them in beauty supply stores, but for a really thick, they were kind of tacky, but I like that thickness and the tackiness of it. And this one does not smell bad, even though I think I've had it for a while and it has not separated anything, so we will keep these. Let's go with this section right here. So I probably will not be getting rid of none of these. This is Revolution's Gloss and Glaze. I literally just use this to top. It's a clear, but it looks a little milky because I don't clean the brush off when I um, go over my lips. But this is just a clear, slightly plumping. I don't really get too much of the plumpness out of this. I like it just because it's a clear, um, affordable, cheap gloss that I could put over um, my lips because I do not like to ruin you know, my more expensive ones, like the fancy one. Even though I have used it, I wipe the brush off so it won't get the bottle dirty. So this is um, good because I still use that. So we have Natural. This is by Elf. It's a lip lacquer. They, none of these really have no smell because they're not like super, super old. Oh, this is so pretty. It's like a super nude. It's kind of like a nude opaque color. I gotta keep that. I don't think this is going well. I think I'm gonna have more luck getting rid of some of these liquids, but none of these glosses. I love gloss, as y'all can tell. Like that's my thing. Um, I like this for a little bit more deeper nude. This is Elf's um, Mint Melt Lip Plumping Gloss. And they still smell okay. So, and then this was even more nude. This was a chocolate chip mint melt. This was a part of a collection. I'm not even sure if you can still get it, but I love the colors. Like I can't can't deny those colors. Then we have a Morphe. You, this was so pretty. It's called Chill, and this was a lip gloss. Look at this color. Like really, it was such a nude to my skin tone. Then I have Juvia's Plays. This is Naomi, Legit Nude and Royalty. Pinky, these are pigmented by the way. And yeah, none of them smell bad, so I'm probably just gonna keep all of these. And then I have two nudes. This is more like a pink nude and this is like a brown nude. Um, this one is Legit Nude. Pretty. And then this one is royalty, which is a little bit more chocolate. But nonetheless, bomb. Oh, that color is so bomb. This one looks a little ashy up on me. This is CoverGirl. I seen someone on YouTube use it, and she used it on all her clients that were deeper skin tone. But on me, this just looks ashy, and I can't even, I don't even see the color. Oh, here we go. It's um, 600 Melted Toffee. Melted Toffee Caramel Fondue. But yeah, um, I probably can get away with it depending on what kind of liner I use, but looks pretty here and it's like a, it's like a faded um, pink. Looks pretty there, but then when I put it on the lips, I probably need to put a nice base with this because it's not a bad color. It's kind of like a, um, like a muted pink, milky pink. This is just a typical clear gloss um, by Essence. This is really, really good, y'all. I actually prefer this over the Revolution one, but uh, because it's a lot more shinier. Cause this is the Essence 
shine 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 wet look lip gloss their clear is amazing it's like the best drugstore um clear gloss if you want like high shine and no tackiness now i don't like all of their high shines i only like about two of them which well three more because i don't like every the other ones just have glitter and they don't look all that good but this is happiness in a bottle this one is so into it and this is flower blossom now this is the newest one i picked up this is bomb it's like a milky i love those milkies it gives me where is it at right here it gives me those Maybelline Ice 002 Ice Vibes. Look at that. Yes, that's what it gives me. And I'm going to swatch it next to it for y'all. So this is the newest one that I picked up because i seen that they had this shade. This is even more milkier. And look at that. Ugh, this looks so bomb. By itself or over um, a new lip color, bomb. These are more opaque, but they really do have that high shine as well. Here's like a, this is like a more chocolate, chocolate color. You know, um, don't necessarily need anything underneath it because these are more opaque. So that is, which one did I just watch? That one is so into, so into it. And this is happiness in a bottle. Now this one is a little more pink, but these are, like I say, more opaque. So cute. And I know these don't um, have not went bad yet. So the lip glosses, we ain't got no luck. I'm just probably showing you guys what I have because we're not going to have any luck in the lip gloss section. Just saying that now. Um, these are super old too. I don't even know if Dominique Cosmetics, she still sell these, but this was lemonade or lemonade lip glosses. And I had the color strawberry lemonade, pink lemonade, peach tea, and sweet tea strawberry lemonade that was pretty peach tea my two favorites were sweet tea because it had that nude look to it a little orangey but it was nude and then of course pink lemonade because it is kind of creamy like it gives off that white milky that i like so yeah we have over here oh my gosh you guys the elf um plumping lip plumping glosses they don't tingle they don't make your lips tingle or nothing i mean they say plumping lip glosses but let me tell y'all these are the bomb like one of my favorite drugstore glosses aside of uh essence but essence only like a couple um from their line but i love a lot from these, from this line. I'm just gonna show you a couple that I really like. This is Mocha Twist. This is Sparkling Rose, um, Praline, and Pink Cosmo. This has a little shimmer to it, but for the most part, it's so faint. I didn't add it over there in that section. Um, like I added one of their colors, which was the Champagne Toast, because that one has a lot of glitter, this one right here. These are all mostly just slight opaque glosses whereas this one just has a slight shimmer in it which is the pink cosmo but um for a nude brown like if you want like a, a deep nude this one is praline is the bomb uh mocha twist is a really pretty light nude if you have tan skin and then sparkling rose just gives off that like peachy tone now my favorite too is beach bellany peach bellany um this one right here is like a creamy um nude versus like the ones i've been showing you guys where they're more like creamy um pink this is definitely more like creamy nudish milky it's just like it looks looks really milky it's so pretty and then pink paloma this is another milky one but it's more on the pink side and it's not even that milky let me take that back because this one is like cloudy if that makes sense these are really good as well. I like these butter glosses. They're really pretty. I have Praline, um, uh, Medellin, and Car Caramel. So I got this one because I felt like it's a really deep, um, I'm running out of space. It's a really deep like chocolate color. So when I want like um, a really 
kind of like chocolate nude similar to some of the couple of the other ones that i have um medellin is my favorite is this no this is praline praline gives me that chocolate vibe too but it's a little bit more pink toned as you can see it has this like a little more pink in it and then butter glob madeline madeline was my favorite hands down because it just went with everything i put on it has a slight pink undertone to it but it is a nude so this one was my favorite i really like the butter glosses i didn't get a lot of butter gloss colors because when it comes to glosses i don't like my glosses to have i like nude glosses with a little opaque or pigment to it like red gloss i don't like you know that's not really my thing i will do a look but it's not something that i would want to sport so now these are all just buxom my buxom glosses right here that i know i'm gonna keep um i'll swatch maybe this one and this one for you guys this one has a little bit of sh sh shimmer in it it's called sugar i've had these for a while but they do not smell like they went bad and this is really pretty they do have a little plump to them um they and they're slightly tacky so the with the buxom they are a little sticky i don't know if, if you don't like sticky glosses i wouldn't go for them but this is a also this is a real pretty one too this is called Seychelles breeze yeah i can see that so this one is um a decent one as well and why not let's do one of the pinks this is a cute one as well yeah they're really pretty i like buxom they're a little more expensive so it's better to catch these on sale and like i say they're more um they're more of your like higher end but they're they have a little tack to them and they pump their lips a little bit more the elf ones they don't they have uh the elf ones have a tack to them too and they also are kind of like lip plumping where they say they are so i would say for the drugstore i would definitely go with if it's going to have a tack to it i will go with the elf ones and if it's going to be a higher end and it has a tack to it i would go with buxom and then this one, I don't know why I got this, y'all. This says um, Mai Tai. It's, this is what I was talking about when I say I don't like glosses that have color. And this has, this is like red. It's not my jam. I don't know what I was expecting when I bought it. I thought it was going to be a little bit more faint, but I mean, it still could be used. Now, on to my Fenty side. I am not getting rid of none of these. I have some small ones. I'm not even going to waste my time pulling them out. I'll show you guys what they look like though i have a uh, pretty please cheeky this is <laughs> these are one of those things where once again i don't like my glosses to have color to them but for like christmas looks or just any kind of holiday looks or something like you see that yeah i don't like my glosses to have color but they're kind of like faint so they're well i can say they do have pigment but um the formula is just so good that it doesn't bother me baby brute this is so pretty this is confetti similar to those um more affordable ones by elf and like the ofra that i showed you guys that have that iridescent thing kind of going on then you have hot chocolate which is really good over um if you're looking for that nudie show y'all right here see it's really faint so this is really pretty for like um uh, a nude lip Type of color and then you have this is pretty too it's like a milky peachy this is taffy teas and then sweet mouth I have a bigger one of these because even though it has a little bit of shimmer in there it doesn't really show it's not like a lot cake shake another pretty kind of like brown lighter brown one and then this one is ruby what's this ruby milk this is another pigmented color that is kind of like not my thing and then over here i just have some bigger ones that i bought the thing about the fenty beauty ones is that they're not tacky but they're ha they have a lot of high shine so something equivalent to the fenty beauty ones i would definitely go with um the essence because they're kind of i wouldn't say they're the exact same formula but if you're looking for like high shine and no tack essence has some um really nice selections and the pigment is great and then you have you know fenty which is not tacky but they're high shine and their their formula is a little thick 
and the payoff is really good as well. I have a couple creams here. These are more of your opaque um, colors, a pinky one, a nude one. And then for the bigger ones, I have Sweet Mouth. I do have a little mini one of this one. because Diamond Milk is similar to that iridescent type of look. I just definitely a lot more silver. Does not have no pink to it or gold. So I like that because I don't have anything that's like this. So let's tackle these two. Let me zoom in. These two right here need to be tackled. I have these. I had higher expectations. I don't know why at the time I liked them. Probably because they were like low-key minimalist type of makeup. But they just add a small shimmer and they're like a bomb. That's literally it. They don't give a lot of shine. You have to put like a clear lip gloss on it. By the way, that was cookies and coca here is what is this so small and tiny make out break yeah um this was like i say these are just like i guess you can say like shinier colors <laughs> They're just shiny, like they, they remind me of like a shiny bomb. This is slip, sh oh, quartz candy. And this is like another one of those iridescents. But this is more in a bomb and not a gloss. I'm gonna keep these, but I have not reached for these really, like not that much. And this is glazed. So not bad. I really feel like these are like, when you wanna do like a no makeup, or like an effortless, just natural kind of look. Cause they're just really like, they remind me of bombs, but they're nonetheless, they're super pretty. Um, hopefully we can get rid of some over here though. These are more like my, like colors. And I was hoping I can make up, um, free up just a little bit of space. Cause these are like cramped up in here. Um, this is Bobby, Bobby Brown. These have more pigment to them. I'm not really a fan. They're not glossy. They're just like, they're so basic, but I paid them, I paid my money for them and I wanted to get some. So I always look at it like, you know, like what color did I just watch for y'all? That was Lychee Baby. That was Lychee Baby. Then we have East Coast Slay. Then we have Juicy Date and West Coast Bay and I'm a jam. Um, West Coast Bay, I can see myself getting some use out of this one as well as that other nudie one because um, it just has, yeah, I guess I'll keep these. The formula is all right. I think the formula is good. It's just like not something I'll reach for. I like glossy stuff, but you can definitely put like a clear gloss over this though. Because I can make use out of it, it ain't going nowhere. I got this, this was um, Tristique. I got this in like a box. I really like this because it's, it just reminds me of like, when I put it on my lips, it gives me like one of those um, stain kind of looks. So I'm just gonna keep it. I like this for the color. This was Clarity Cosmetics and this was Ugg Boots. Oh, and by the way, that Tristique shade was English Rose. I like this because of the uniqueness of the color. Like, this is called Ugg Boots, and you guys, I've never seen a color like this. Like, a mustardy color is so pretty. And I think this is a matte. But, I mean, come on. Like, really? Can't get rid of it. And they don't smell like nothing, so they still rocking. This is, um... A NYX, supposed to be waterproof, full throttle lipstick in the shade 01. All right, is that the shade? Yeah, Con Artist, that's the, the color. It looks like it just <laughs> looks like it's old, but look at that. Pretty color. I mean, I have not worn like dark lipsticks like this in a while, but I like that color. Um, 
Here is a Mega Last Wet n Wild Katsu High Shine Lipstick. All my Dosa Color ones like low-key look like this, right? This is super pretty. I love the color. Uh, but it smells like it's... It smells like it needs to go. Plus, I probably have a Dosa Color one that will... Um, yeah, I probably have a Dosa Color one, but it does smell... Ugh smells like crayons or something so that can go finally first one proud super proud like what we got rid of something finally um this is super clicky empowered some of these i don't even know they still make but like i like how you click it and it comes up and Oh, this is so pretty. Gotta keep it. Melting Pout by CoverGirl. I have never put this on. And smells just a little funny, but I probably should get rid of it because, yeah. Yeah, it does smell just a little funny, but that's the color right there. And it was pretty, I think I got this for free. This is number 12. I like this one because it's a little bit more deeper red, whereas that one, where's the other one? The other one's right here. So it's like a little bit more of a red and that's a purple. It doesn't smell bad. So it will stay. These are so bomb. I got these at Matte Silky Sticks at the um, beauty supply store. I love these for when I, and they don't smell bad, so I'm just gonna keep them. And this one is, um, Potter's Clay. They're like so cute, nudie colors to add to your lip and then put like a gloss over them. So yeah, and this one is Brown Rust. Just gonna swatch them for y'all. Where'd I swatch the other one at? Brown Rust. I'm running out of swatch space. I need to clear up this again. Um, this is a pretty Irish coffee. This is like a pretty kind of like brown for a more nude brown. And then Cape Palliser. This is a pretty brown as well. So yeah, these are um, NK Makeup. I had got these from the beauty supply store. I don't think I've seen them online, but oh, this is so pretty. This is the high voltage. This is in Dirty Talk. Um, I really love that dark brown and it had like a little shine to it. Not a fan of my lip colors being shiny, but I can say this was really pretty. So these probably all can go. Do they even sell these anymore? Seriously? Do they sell these? Let's see if they even smell. They kind of, they don't smell bad. Let me swatch and see. Oh, they don't even smell bad. So that that means I might have to keep them because that was so pretty. This was Trust Me to Matte. Look at that. I guess I'll just go through the colors and see which ones I like and which ones I don't like. Let me clear up some swatch space because we need to swatch. Upside down, I probably can get rid of. That is like super peachy. Don't see myself really reaching for that. Well, you know what? No, I'm gonna keep it because I thought about how light it is and I probably could use that for like um, a new peach daydream. I like that color. Yeah, and these don't even smell bad. They still kicking, so. Um, Back up. These are all mattes, by the way. I like that color. I bought these for a reason, so I don't even know why I'm wasting my time. Pitch, I know I'm going to keep because it's a chocolate brown. And then, like, these are pretty much, like, when, I wanna, when I'm in a lipstick mood. That's why I got a selection of, like, pinks and all that. This is Goldie. This is another pretty one. <sighs> yeah. Having no luck here. Thought I would. But I have none. Wifey, cute pink, really cute pink. This is like a um, a blue tone pink. Hotline, 
This is like a nude keeping. <laughs> Ziggy keeping. Um, yeah, this ain't really going that well. Hollywood Boulevard. I know I'm gonna keep this because I like the the brown popping. Kind of like a dupe for that Mac. Um, I can't think of it. Candy Yum Yum probably. Le Freak. Le Freak. That's pretty. That was no luck. This whole drawer right here. This section was no luck. And I feel like I'm gonna... My best luck is gonna be with lipsticks. Because I thought these would be old or smell funny. And they don't. So I can technically still use them. So yeah. Well, we did get rid of two. So yay for that. Yay to the two that we got rid of, right? Definitely keeping these. I love the matte and followable. I only like these two colors because they are they dry matte, but they look so good when you put them on your lips and then put like a gloss over them. Sweet Tooth and Dose of Coca. You have a more pinkier um, color. And these are not crusty dry matte. These are literally like dry down, put a lip gloss on it. But they look so good. I had recently tried, oh, this pretty which is which one is this again sweet tooth bomb they kind of smell like chocolate too yeah less chocolate scented the shrooms by lime crime really liked this color for how unique it was we have brooklyn by ofra oh that leaked look at that oh no well for sure this gotta go and it, don't, it smell like it's on its last leg. But look how rich that was. Yeah, you gotta go. This is Trouble by Lime Crime. It smells a little like paint. And it was like a an olive green. This is Underdog. Pretty burgundy-ish kind of color. Well, that's like a chocolate. But it's more on the red tone. Whereas you can see the Ophir one was more like brown but they kind of look similar so i'm not too upset because i know this um i know this one will be a little because of the red undertones it'll be a little more flattering on my skin tone this one looks like it'll be a little off but that's fine then i have brick oh i know this is probably super old and dry oh it dried up this was such a pretty color but it has to go because it's dried up honey like look at that this is zero four sephora's i remember when i used to think this was so dark on my lips this is when i first started getting into colors and i thought it was like the darkest color ever but it wasn't um these don't smell bad and this is like a really bright red this is zero one and zero four so grande lips um liquid lipstick looks a little dry and yeah it's dry i didn't like the way these dried i could show y'all them but i didn't like the way they dried on the lips they looked really oh and they smell like paint now they looked really um drying on the lips so and plus they have oil all over them from whatever's the old from when that spills so these can definitely go This is Marc Jacobs color. Probably gonna end up getting rid of this one too, cause, let me see. Nope, it doesn't smell bad. Let me see the color again. Oh no, I can deal with that. That's pretty, that's actually really pretty. I don't even know why I never wore this. This is in your, yours to try. This is pretty, really pretty. Um, This is Kat Von D, Bone Arrow. Still smells like it's working and it is pretty this is a nudie patootie nudie patootie by wet n wild this is a liquid lipstick very like ashy gray this one would probably look good once it dry because it's a matte this and this will go together really good and then throw like this gloss on top of it because look they look similar it's a little bit more gray but they do look similar in color. I'll keep this one. It's, it's not going to be flattering on my lips. I already know that. But I like the color because it's unique. So 
I can probably get rid of this Bobby Brown because I just don't pull for it. And well, no, look how red that is. I got gotta keep it. These I probably can get rid of. Well, let's see. I'm not gonna say it too soon. This is Creator. Pretty purple color. I always thought of doing like a look with that. This is Loyalist. What are these? Mattes. Matte ink. Yeah, these are mattes. And then this one is Firefighter. Pretty brown. So yeah, I'll keep these. I like the um, colors of those. This color pop, this is so old. This is a lip satin in Tansy. It's still kicking, but it gotta go. Look at that. I have some matte by Color Rain, Truffle Rain. These always came off real green to me. But they don't smell bad, so I'll probably keep them. I just didn't like how they pull green um, on the lips. They had like a really dookie undertone, but they were cute brown. Oh, here's a brown. I know I was upset about this one, but this, see, it's more green and this is more brown, um, warm. But it's okay. At least I have something. These are so old. These are the lingerie seduction. Um, these were really cute at the time and they still don't smell bad but they got to go i'm not gonna reach for these lingerie that was in the shade seduction this is in the shade corset and i'm not reaching for these another lingerie in beauty mark i used to really love this one they don't dry matte or anything but they were really pretty on the lips there's another one that was kind of pretty exotic yeah i'm cool oh i made some progress on this side thank goodness these are so old this is when she first came out with her matte liquid lipstick so she had she only had two shades dolce k and true brown gay now <laughs> believe it or not they still smell the same i know that they're old um but i don't want to give them up because i didn't love them at the time and i might do um a video with like my oldest makeup because they don't smell bad, I'm gonna keep them. Dolce K, True Brown K. We did good on this side of the drawer. Now, these technically should go, these right here, these by Beauty ones, they smell like coffee, they're not old. These technically should go in the drawer, and I probably am. I don't think I had enough space at the time. This is all supposed to be just lipsticks. Um, and then these were sitting in the drawer because these don't even fit in the compartments, which suck. But, yeah. But other than that, we're going to make some room so these can fit in there. And like I said, this back up there on the desk. These are some French press lip glosses. They smell like coffee. They're by Bi Beauty. Bi Beauty, I don't think they no longer make them, but I do want to finish using these up because i did love by beauty products what shade is this flat white um vanilla latte and salted caramel so these are really good to just um line your lips throw some of this on with gloss i like the way these look i'm gonna set these in a the drawer this is my first lipstick i think i ever purchased and it's probably over 10 years ago and believe it or not it does not smell but you know what it's a cheapie it was from the from the beauty supply store and it's called radiant red I'm probably going to just let it go, but it's like one of those nostalgic things where you just want to keep it because of, yeah, I guess um, I'm just keeping it for like sentimental purposes because I know that this was like my first purchase and it doesn't smell and it still looks pretty. So yeah, I probably keep that. This is the dose of colors this was the um katie and desi aftermath lipstick i never really got to really wear it but it was a really pretty color and it smells like it got old unfortunately and didn't want to let this go but I'm not too fond of that smell and it's on the swatch too it's not even just the outer part so this got 
to go. Okay. Then we have another by Beauty One. This is the Honeycomb. Very pretty nude color. It doesn't smell bad. It smells a little bit like peppermint, so I'm going to keep it. Matter of fact, I'm just going to put keeps over here, and the ones that I'm not going to keep are going to go over there. This is a Milani. This is Bahama Beige. Very, 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 very pretty. Um, this is a Morphe Mad Eye Mabu. Um, this is super pretty. I love this color because it's a. This one that looks a little more pinky. This has like a brown undertone. Um, this is Muted by. I, this is not too old. I bought this one from. Um, what is that? Juvia's Place. Really pretty muted nude color this is maybelline's chocolate lust and they kind of smell funny i'm good um there's another one this was a matte i think this formula was a shine this is a matte looks a little dry too and it smells a little funny can't risk it here's an Blushing beige. This is old. Pretty color though. Really pretty. Um, these I don't want to get rid of either. And I know they old and I know they probably smell funny. But the colors were absolutely amazing. I probably go to the store and see if Nick still has these. Which I don't think they do, but look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep these. Eventually, I know I am gonna have to let that go. This is Circle. And then they had Honey Mail Honey. This is pretty as well. This is like one of my favorite ones, the Honey one. And then there is, which one was this? Echo. Look how old that is. The colors though. If I can get, oh, this don't even want to, hold on. Oh, there we go. This has, this was such a pretty color. Like I will literally just wipe off the top with some alcohol and sport that, like that color is bomb. That was, that was Echo. I don't even think you can get those no more, but they definitely gonna get wiped off with some alcohol because those colors are amazing. Then we have this Dazzling Lipstick by City of Colors. It doesn't even have shade color. Oh, cha cha cha. And I, I always used to I really like this for the brown. But oh, this one smells super old. Got to go. Got to go. That one smells old, but the brown of the color is so pretty. But I'm probably going to see if I can find it again before I replace it. But yeah, that one. That one go I already know these need to go right here, these four, but we did get rid of four. So let's see what these MAC ones are looking like. This is Candy Yum Yum, Heroin. Okay, none of them smell like they went bad. I'm super excited for that. Um, this is Heroin. They don't, they don't smell like they went bad. So Lady Danger. Marange. This is Ruby Woo Dry Red Matte. <laughs> Classic. This Bee Dial, it's a cream sheen. Never really like the cream sheen type person, but it's pretty, so I'll keep it. This is Stone. I like this because it's like, um, it's really like ashy gray, like for neutral looks. If I do like a neutral eye, this would be pretty is saint germain this was a popular one i remember when everybody was wearing this bubblegum pink this is up the amp another really pretty purple this twig i had a liner that went with this and this was so so pretty at the time still is this is probably like the newest one i bought like a little small one because i knew i wasn't going to use a big one it just reminded me of like someone that used to always wear it I got them in order by name, but 
at this point it don't even matter this is what we have left i do have these right here i know i'm not getting rid of none of these because these are newer and they are super pretty but they do not fit up in here which sucks but it's okay i probably will just set them out on display because that drawer that i showed you guys has not they don't have any lipsticks in there they have like liquid lipsticks and mattes but i want to keep all of my lipstick containers together so i'm most likely going to put these on display and just set these nearby um because i do not want to make that drawer any more crowded than it needs to be i just want that drawer to stay lip glosses matte liquid lipsticks and lip glosses and liquid lipsticks that's it and these are my lipsticks so we did get rid of four which is not too bad considering like what i have out of all of the lip glosses that you guys have seen this is what we got rid of so far and yeah i'm happy if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until the next time i will catch you guys later bye babes